welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 41975 and in today's video I'm going to be talking briefly about some improvements and things that needs to be added in the crew too. So a couple of weeks ago, I think it's about three weeks ago now, we received the Hot Shots update in the Crew 2. So it added features that the community really wanted, such as the Live Summit and a bunch of extra things that I can't really think of right now. So we got a uh, new tyre smoke for cars, we got new wheels, We so all the vanity items basic, basically, excuse me. Um, we also got the chat, uh, so we can now chat with people. So if you didn't know about that, you can press down on the D-pad and it will actually let you um, chat to people nearby. Since that update has come out, I have been thinking about a load of features that I would really like to see added to the Crew 2 or things that I think need to be improved that are already in the Crew 2. So let's get this started straight away with our first item and it's probably going to be one of the biggest and that is PvP game modes. So we've already got the PvP lobbies in that you can do the races and the demolition derby. So we've got the racing which... Okay, they've added it, other people enjoy it, I'm fine with that. We also got the Demolition Derby update in December, which added the Demolition Derby PvP mode, which I think is really good. I think they actually added the PvP in that update, if I'm correct. But they haven't got PvP game modes, which was something that really annoyed me, because... PvP game modes was something that was in the original Crew 2 update, so when they announced in December that they were going to be adding PvP to the game, I got really excited about that. I was really happy that they were going to be adding PvP back into the game, and I expected them to add the PvP game modes with that, so like the Playground games. And they never actually did, which I can't understand why they didn't do that, because it was in the original game. Those playground games and stuff are always really fun to come back to, and I'm going to have some gameplay up on screen now of me playing it in the original Crew 2. They're just so fun to get on with some mates and just, just have a go at these game modes. Forza Horizon has always had the playground games. It was in the original Crew 2. Why can't we have it? in the crew in the crew two now the next item on our list is kind of a strange one it's sort of it's a physics issue with the game now this is something that i think a lot of people are aware of and i think actually ubisoft are aware of this as well and that is the extreme gravity that you sort of get in the crew too. It's so unrealistic. When you go off a jump, it sort of like pulls you straight back down to earth. And it just doesn't really feel correct. So if you went off a jump, sorry, in real life, the car would fly a lot more. Whereas in the crew too, it sort of seems to like get a bit of air and then smack back down. And it just doesn't feel quite right. So I'm going to mix this in with a physics and graphics overhaul. So in the original crew game, when we got the crew wild run update, um, we got a massive graphics overhaul. So that is something that I know a lot of the community are asking for, but also a physics overhaul, which would fix this extreme gravity because it is extremely annoying. Even in Forza Horizon, you'll find the cars fly so much better than they do in the Crew 2. So, yeah, something that I, Ubisoft need to fix that I feel is, is quite an annoying thing. So, the next item on our list, I'm going to put two in one together here because we've got the uh, the option of custom plates. So... 
this was something that was kind of in the original crew game. You could change your plate, your, your license plate on the bottom of your car, but they were already preset ones from the game. So you could change your license plate, but not very much. Um, so the option to change your license plate, like have custom license plates, sort of like you can in GTA 5, where you can have an app, and you can put in whatever you want on your license plate and then you can apply that to your car. I'm not saying that Ubisoft would have a an app, but the option to change your license plate, because at the moment it just says the crew two, which is a little bit annoying. So if they actually allowed you to change the license plate, th that would be a lot better. And then sort of tied in with this is going to be another sort of car customization thing. Tinted windows. So at the moment in the Crew 2, we are getting more um, customization options with the vanity stuff, which I think is amazing. Ubisoft need to keep doing that, keep adding more customization. Not that fan on the like electric tire smoke thing. I think it's a bit unrealistic. But it is an arcade game and I'm aware that some people do enjoy that. So I'm not saying that they should take that out of the game. I'm just saying to add more realistic features would be nice. So the option to tint windows is something that I've really wanted since the start of the game. It wasn't in the original crew game. And I know Ubisoft are trying to improve from the original game. So definitely add tinted windows. Even if it's a vanity option. If we can have different coloured um, windows. So like you could have green windows if you wanted. As a vanity item. Or you could have like blacked out. It would just make it so much better. Because you'll find some of the cars. When, when they don't have the tinted windows, it just looks really weird when they have just clear glass. It, it just doesn't look great. So please, custom plates and tinted windows is the next one there. So our next feature is the ability to sell cars. Now, it's, it wasn't in the original game, and I don't know whether Ubisoft would actually add this to the game, but they keep adding a bunch of cars to the game, so why can we not have the ability to sell some of these cars? So, in Forza Horizon, you can sell cars on the auction house, which I find is really cool because it allows you to sort of bid on cars, which is kind of like real life. Um, so that's really cool. Or you can, like, buy them directly from like the internet or whatever and in GTA 5 you can sell cars as well so I bought the season pass and for you season pass owners you'll know the frustration of the cars that that they add to it so every update that comes out they the cars that they add in that update you basically get for free but they add them straight into your sort of cars list that you own and a lot of them are cars that I really don't want so I think the way they should have done it is they should have allowed you to purchase those cars for free rather than adding them straight to your sort of garage if you know what I mean so I think it's great that they're allowing season pass owners to get these cars for free not having to buy them that's super, that's what the season pass is all about at the end of the day. But I think they should have allowed you to purchase the cars for free rather than sort of forcing you to have those cars. Um, so there's a lot of new cars and cars that I just don't want that are clogging up my garage. So every time I flick through to try and find my car, I have to go through like 100 cars. And 50% of those cars are cars that I really just don't want. So if they allowed us to have the option to sell those cars, I think that would work a lot better. If you purchased a car from the actual or something like that, if you actually purchased it with in-game money and then you decided you didn't really want that car anymore and you sold it for a bit of money, that, that would be really cool. You can do it in other games, so why can you not do it in The Crew 2? Selling cars is a big thing. I know a lot of people 
want selling cars as a feature. I find it really frustrating that they add all these season pass cars directly to your garage. So please, Ubisoft, allow us to sell some of our cars. Even if we don't get any money back for the season pass cars, just allow us to get them out of our garage. Or at least allow us to categorise them so that they don't show up on the garage anymore. Because they just clog the garage up and it really annoys me. So, yeah, selling cars. Okay, so the next thing that we have on the list is the character customization. Now, I'm aware the Crew 2 is not 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 based on character customization. It's not a main focus of the game. However, I do feel that if they're going to include character customization in the game, they should at least try to make it somewhat decent. So what I mean by this is the amount of customization we have for our characters is very lacking. When you compare it to, say, GTA V, which has a lot of character customization, although I am aware that, you know, that is quite a big thing in GTA, not so big in The Crew 2. But when you compare it to games like that, that have a lot, even Forza Horizon, which is, is a similar game to The Crew 2, it allows you to have a lot better character customization. So more clothing options, the ability to take your hat off. All of the characters always wearing a hat. I don't know what the deal with that is. I want to take the hat off because it, it just doesn't look right sometimes. Um, but also they allow us to make our own liveries. Why could we not have a shirt that we could put our own designs on? So what I mean by this is if you go into the car customization, you can apply a livery to your car, but you can also design your own livery if you want to. So why is why couldn't we have a shirt option that so they keep all the original shirts, but then there's a shirt option that's like your own style or something and it allows you to change what's on your shirt so you can design your own custom shirt if you wanted to with your own logos and whatever you wanted on basically like how the livery thing works and they could do this for helmets and trousers shoes hats gloves they could do it for all the clothing items and then people can have like really unique things so yeah more character customization even if they don't allow us to make our own sort of style just more clothes and better customization would be would be something that's really nice the ability to teleport anywhere on the map so in the original crew game you had to sort of discover parts of the map but once you discovered it you could teleport there you could choose anywhere you wanted on the map and it would teleport you there whereas in the crew 2, you don't have to discover the map, which I like because that did get a bit annoying in the original game. But if you want to teleport to a specific location, you have to teleport to an event or something that is very close to there. And then you have to drive there. So you can't actually directly teleport to where you want to, or fast travel as they call it. You have to fast travel to something, an event or... Uh, a speed trap or something that is as close as as you can get to it but then you have to drive from there to wherever you want it to go so you can't directly fast travel to where you want which i find is a bit weird because in the original game as long as you discovered that part of the map you could fast travel wherever you wanted to so i don't understand why you can't just fast travel anywhere on the map it's it's a bit weird so the ability to fast travel anywhere would be would be something that would be a, a massive game game improvement in my opinion. And the second thing is a custom race creator. So again, I'm going to be comparing this to Forza Horizon and GTA Five. They both have custom race creators. So in GTA Five, you can create death matches and whatever you want 
Um, but you, you can create your own custom races. You can add props. You can add the checkpoints where they want where you want them to go. And it, it's it's a quite a big thing, you know. The the community can make a lot better races. I feel than the developers can sometimes. So the ability to have our own race creator would be super. Uh, but if we could add sort of little props as well, that would allow the race to flow a bit better. Sort of like we can in GTA, but a tone down a little bit. That would be great. And if we got the option of PvP game modes, the ability to make our own sort of game modes, or at least make our own maps for specific game modes, that would be amazing. Um but Forza Horizon has also, Forza Horizon 4 has just recently added a uh, race creator to their game as well. So I think Ubisoft have seen that. Hopefully they have seen that. If they haven't and they're watching this video, then definitely please add a custom race creator. Because I think some people in the community that can make amazing races... They, they could do an amazing job. And I think people would really enjoy having that in the game. So just to quickly sum up. We've got PvP game modes. The extreme gravity thing. That's that's really annoying. So please fix that. Um, more car customization. Such as custom plates. And um, tinted windows. Um, more character customization. The ability to sell cars and then the ability to fast travel anywhere on the map would and obviously the race creator that i was just talking about let me know your thoughts and opinions on this in the comment section down below do you agree with this is there anything else that i've missed off that you think really need to be added in the crew to and let me know what you think of the hot shots update do you think that ubisoft did a good job with that or do you think that Ubisoft should have done a better job with that update? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.